All right, so another day, another day of exploration. You can see you have lots of uh, road building material that the logging company has so graciously left for us to search. Uh, we've pulled some samples out of here before that were decent grade. Uh, what we're really after is over here you have stringers of sulfides, uh, primarily calcopyrate um, amongst a chloratic schist. And you have uh, some quartz feldspar in here. But there's lots and lots of stringers all throughout this. You can see where it gets a little darker. Those are all little stringers. Another one there. So there's about 30 or 40 of these that we found in this little quarry. Bunch all over here filling fractures. So what we discovered last time we were here is behind this little tree here, you have some malachite staining. So we wanted to explore this a little further, remove a bit of that moss, chip away at uh, some of that and see if we can pull a sample off, send it in for an analysis. So, exposed a little bit better in getting up behind the tree, kind of fell out on us, so we'll replant it later after we've gotten our sample. So we've hammered out multiple areas. Uh, there's like very, very, very fine disseminated calcopyrite, which is causing your oxidization or malachite staining. And I just don't think it's worthwhile to even pursue. Um, it's very minor amounts. So we're gonna continue on over here uh, where you have more prominent sulfide veins and uh, pull off a few hunks from here. Okay, so we just hammered this off. You can see disseminated mineral all throughout. This is pyrite with minor amounts of calcopyrite. So this was one of the veins. Uh, I'd say it's about 60% mineral just on the, the vein here. And the host rock is virtually barren. Okay, so this sample from right there contains Coarse greened, solid mineral, iron pyrite. So we're going to take this sample here and send this in for an analysis. See what uh, kind of results come into here. Okay, so we got a boulder here which uh, came from the oak crop over here. You can see you have contact between your host rock and your mineral vein. It's about a two centimeter thick sulfide vein, pyrite and calcopyrite. I'm gonna take a little sample off here, take a look at it. So here's a couple little pieces here. A little bit of bugs in there, so it looks like uh, some of your minerals eroded out by your chemical and mechanical weathering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 
all the samples will be fine and we're going to set it in for one test. Uh, these are probably all going to be similar graded sulfides. The dominant minerals we're looking for here are gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, hosted in pyrite, calcopyrite, veins, Another little chip sample off the vein. One centimeter. Nothing crazy. Okay, so hammered this big hunk off. Got some of your host rock in it. Got some vein in there as well. It's not a solid mineral vein, but. Got enough. So we're going to take uh, a bunch of this, send this in with a sample too. Okay, so we've taken chip samples off of 12 stringer veins, and we have that for our sample. We'll post CSA results after. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.